Oh yeah, boys, we are in business. Finally, after going to AutoZone of all places, I was able to find a blowgun that is a non-safety one. And look at, what else did I get? Oh, 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 ooh, can't show you all of that because I don't know if I'm gonna use it yet. We've made it back to the house. We got our blowgun kit right here. We are going to uh, pull a part out of this. We need probably this like rubber nozzle that's up here in the corner so i'm gonna get that out i'm gonna get it all set up and see if uh if we can't trigger this wastegate actuator into opening and moving doing something at the very least we definitely will get 26 pounds of boost out of this just because of how it comes set up from turbo smart and the way that the springs are inside of the actuator i want to see if we can't get a little bit more boost out of it obviously though and we also do have the adjustable boost elbow to put into the HX35 compressor housing so uh, let's just go ahead and see if we can't get this accomplished Okay, so we have the compressor housing set on to the turbo assembly right now. We've got the TurboSmart IWG75 wastegate actuator for the Cummins trucks set into the position it needs to be. Down here, you see we have our wastegate uh, flap. This is the arm for it here. It says in the instructions for this Turbo Smart wastegate actuator that when you go to set the clevis onto the wastegate flap, the arm here, you have to have at least two millimeters of preload on the on the clevis here. So basically, what preload is is the amount of turns that you are going to turn this up the threaded rod that is coming out of the back of the wastegate actuator and this rod is what will open your wastegate as your boost pressures start to build. So they're saying to go with two millimeter of preload. I'm not sure if you can go with more or not. Now the Turbo Smart wastegate actuator comes with a series of springs inside this little housing right here that is set up for 26 pounds. So it will at least go up to 26 pounds of boost and then it will start to creep and open up. So I'm sure that the two millimeters of preload is based off of the springs inside this housing and that that 26 pound boost rating. So I uh, right now have it probably at like 10 millimeters of preload. So we're gonna back this sucker right off. So right here you can see that I can slide this clevis on with no problem very easily. And that is basically meaning that there is no preload at all on this wastegate actuator now. So if we are going to try and gain two millimeters of preload, what we're gonna do is we are gonna turn this one full rotation and that will be one millimeter of preload per rotation. So we got one, two. So that should be about two millimeters of preload. That looks exactly like two millimeters of preload right there. Now to check that you're at two millimeters of preload, what you're gonna do is look right here at the clevis where it slides onto this little rod on the wastegate flap. And if you look at the hole in the clevis and where it is lined up on the little stud here that's on this flap for the wastegate valve, you should see a gap in between the stud and the hole around this outer edge. And if it's about two millimeters worth of gap, then you know you're at two millimeters worth of preload. To give you a better idea, I'll show you right here in the instructions. So this is what I'm talking about. This is your flap, your arm right here on your wastegate flap in the exhaust housing. And then you can see the little stud there that you'd hook up the clevis to. There's your clevis and see they have two millimeters right there and that's the gap that I'm talking about where the stud would slide into the hole on the clevis. If there's two millimeters worth of gap in between those there, then you're at two millimeters worth of preload. So remember, two millimeters worth of preload is one full rotation on that clevis equals one millimeter 
for the preload and you just go two full rotations with that clevis and you'll be at your two millimeters of preload basically and then you can go ahead and get your compressor set they say in the instructions for this wastegate not to use any more than three bar or 40 psi worth of compressed air to set the clevis onto the wastegate flap of the exhaust housing so that's what their recommendation is that is what i'm going to do i'm going to use about 40 uh 40 psi in the air compressor to just shoot into the wastegate actuator so that i can get that rod to push back and i can hook the clevis onto the wastegate flap of the exhaust housing and then basically you are set up per their specs to have your turbo smart wastegate actuator all set for 26 pounds and by 26 pounds i don't mean that it just cuts you off at 26 pounds of boost it basically it starts to creep and open up at 26 pounds so it'll probably squeak out just a little bit more than that and we're also going to have the diesel auto power adjustable boost elbow in the compressor housing on this hx35 also so we can always tweak that adjustable boost elbow a little bit and play with the boost to an extent but I, I don't know I I may it probably would be wisest to go and just follow the instructions per turbo smarts little booklet here and go that route and then see what we can do with the adjustable boost elbow and then if I feel like we can get a little bit more out of it or do something different maybe we pull it back off the truck and give it some more preload or something like that so let's get our air compressor ready. We're gonna go ahead and pop some air right down through here so that we can get this clevis to slide back and hopefully right over this stud. Just like that guys, that's all there is to it. And if you were to take it off, then you would, basically you can do the same thing. Just shoot a little bit of air into it out of an air compressor and just wiggle it until it pops off of there. And if I line up this old wastegate actuator, the actual Holset one that came on the HX35, and we look at it, it's basically at the same length as this Turbo Smart wastegate actuator is. So we're, uh, probably set up right around the stock form right here and in good shape guys we have got the hx35 turbo put back together there are two things left to do on it and that is simply put the nuts on the back of the wastegate actuator just to hold it to the mounting tabs on the compressor housing and we also have to put the little c clip or e clip or whatever clip into uh the on that little stud there that the uh um, wastegate actuator arm clevis attaches to on the actual wastegate flap of the exhaust housing so we just have to do those two minor things and that turbo is ready to go and install on the truck um, i think because it's the beginning of the week and we probably aren't going to get to installing it until the weekend that i probably am going to go ahead and order a new oil feed fitting uh, i do believe that i can use the one off of my truck but we've already gone the distance in cleaning this hx35 turbo up and making it it look a lot nicer um, so I don't really want to have an older and crusty oil feed fitting even though it's very small and you aren't really gonna see it compared to the rest of the turbo under the hood um, I still would like to get a new one probably just so we have a fresh o-ring on it and all that and we don't have to worry about any oil leaks so with all that being said are you guys ready to get your first look at the HX 35 that you might be able to see over there on the garage floor Let's go take a peek at it. I lied. We do need to get one more thing, and that is a new boost line for running from the wastegate actuator to the diesel auto power adjustable boost elbow here because this one is a little too short just because this housing on the wastegate actuator, the Turbo Smart wastegate actuator, is bigger than the one on the old Holset wastegate actuator, and this one sticks out a little further, so it puts us a little out of of reach for that adjustable boost elbow so I do need to get online and get a new boost line just to hook those two up and then just uh, put on those nuts on the back side of this to hold it down and the little clip 
back here to hold the clevis to this little tab and we are freaking good we are in business so ready to rock and roll as you can see all rebuilt ready to put on the truck and hopefully enjoy see some lower egt numbers a little bit better boost and uh guys i'm just freaking excited i i know i've said it a hundred times but come on are you excited or are you not excited to see this thing on the truck and be able to compare it to the HY35 with bigger injectors and we can get some other mods for the truck, put them on there and also compare all that stuff. So I'll give you a little walk around of it. Look at how fresh the exhaust housing is looking, all nice and shiny black. We got the compressor housing, which is gonna stay that silver color for now. We did get some paint and we did get red. So we got red engine paint by VHT and we were going to do the compressor cover in a red but I decided obviously against it but we did pick this up just tonight with our uh, with our blowgun stuff from AutoZone just to have it here in case I do change my mind like I said I am going to try and track down a second HX35 turbo so I can get that here I want to get a second one rebuild it have an extra sitting here in the garage just in case um, if we ever do have to pull this one off then we'll have a spare we'll have a backup that we can put on the truck or maybe do something else with because I may have something else in mind for the truck and turbo stuff uh, <laughs> so um, when the HY35 comes off I am going to rebuild that and get that all freshened up cleaned up probably do something like I did with the HX35 to the HY35 where I got the internals put in the new journal bearings and all that I will clean down the exhaust housing paint it clean up the compressor housing and stuff and then put it back together and just have it all fresh freshly rebuilt and then probably will be looking to sell that so if anybody out there is looking for a stock turbo or needs a a stock turbo or knows anybody who does need a stock turbo um, when I get that thing done it will be sitting here so just let me know we might be able to work something out on that but I definitely am probably gonna list that on Craigslist and let that go but I probably won't look to get rid of it until I do secure a second HX35 turbo and have that here at the house I do want to keep a second turbo on hand just in case um, so until I get a second HX35 I will keep the HY35 after I rebuild it um, but then we will look to to sell that once we pick up a second HX. That is it for this video though. Just wanted to show you how to get this Turbo Smart Wastegate actuator onto the HX35 Turbo, what I had to do in order to do that. Um, and I did it per Turbo Smart's instructions that they sent with the actual Wastegate actuator. Uh, so we are basically what I believe to be set up in stock form right now and this should start to creep open and start to actuate at 26 pounds of boost and we can always tweak that boost pressure from right underneath the hood with our adjustable boost elbow or like I said previously take that HX35 turbo off the truck and go ahead and maybe add a little bit more preload to the wastegate rod and then stick it back on there and see what see what comes of it go ahead and hit that like button if you're pumped up to get this hx35 on the 24 valve and see what it does how it handles the truck and how the truck responds to it if you're stopping into the channel for the first time you just found it checking it out and you liked what you saw with the hx35 and you want to see more of what we're going to do with the 24 valve cummins in the future whether we get rid of it or we dive into it deeper and do more mods and just try to make it more fun to drive on the streets uh go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the family we got a good group of guys here on pure panorama with a ton of knowledge who all help each other in the comment section and we all learn something every day here on the channel so become a part of it and i will see you guys in the next video peace I just wanna keep